a little trick with a variable capacitor. Normally these types of capacitors with plastic dielectric have a maximum capacitance of around 160 picofarad. That's in these two connections. There's also a smaller gang with a maximum of around 60 picofarad. These two capacitors are connected to the same rotor and they're suitable for use in AM receivers where the larger gang is on the aerial connection and the smaller gang is connected to the local oscillator. In the case of an AM broadcast receiver, the local oscillator is normally above the received frequency range. In other words, your received frequency range might go from 530 kHz to 1600 kHz, then the local oscillator will be about 455 kHz, that's the IF above that. In other words, roughly 1 to 2 MHz. We'll just give this a test with the probes on the higher value capacitor section. With the capacitor fully counterclockwise, it's 160 picofarad. And with it fully clockwise, it's around 17 picofarad, which is what you would expect. You might be able to change those values very slightly by adjusting the trimmers on the back. Now we'll move over to the smaller section. Noting the middle connection is common and you can see that the smaller section's minimum is about the same, 17 picofarad and its maximum is about 76 picofarad. Something that is not often done and is in fact the reason for me making this video is to not use the middle or common pin at all. Instead I'm measuring the capacitance across the two sections effectively connected in series. We're going from 9 picofarad up to 51 picofarad. That lower value of capacitance may be useful for some HF or even lower VHF projects.